back. I'm so happy to have you in my home today. I wish you were really here. That'd be the best. But anyways, we are talking about the Lord's Prayer. And we're going to continue and probably finish today. It's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And today's verses are found in verse 12 and 13. So go and grab your Bibles and come back and read with me today, would you? Awesome. All right, let's start with the prayer. Let's just pray the prayer again. And, and let's think about everything we're saying. Because we're talking to our Heavenly Father, who is a ruler. Are you ready? Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And don't let us be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Did you know that God's kingdom will last forever? That's what we just said, isn't it? His kingdom, his kingdom of goodness and love will go on forever and ever, and we get to be a part of it. Wow. Woo. Now, let's just take a look today, shall we, at verses 12 and 13. Let's read together. And forgive us our trespasses, as we also have forgiven our those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Verse 12, and forgive us our trespasses. Sometimes um, your Bible might say, forgive us our debts or forgive us our sins. But what are sins? Sins are the things that we do that feel and are wrong. The wrong things that we get tangled up in in the day. And we know when we've done wrong, don't we? We know. We know that uh, it doesn't feel very good when there's a wrong thing going on, right? And if someone else does something wrong to you, how do you feel? Yucky, because wrong things just don't feel good. They're not for us, that's for sure. And they're not part of the kingdom of God. Wrong things are dealt with by God. And this is what he says, that we need to ask him to forgive us our wrongs. Forgive our wrongs. So what we're saying is, God, I did something wrong. Would you forgive me? Or here's another way of putting it. Would you send it away? Would you send that away? When Jesus took our sin nature on himself, in his body, on the cross, he paid for that sin with his, with his own life. He died to pay for that sin, the wrongs that human beings do. He did that. And he took that wrong stuff away. It was sent away. Now, when we believe in Jesus, we're made right. We're right. And so we want to do the things of the kingdom. We want to do right things. Oh, Father God, would you forgive us? Would you send away the wrongs that want to come in and bother us and come at us? And then he says this, just as we also have forgiven those who trespass against us. So the same way, when someone does something wrong towards us, maybe, have you ever had somebody say something that, that wasn't nice to you? How did you feel? Yucky, right? Because it's wrong. But just like God forgave us our wrongs and sent them away, that's what we have to do. We have to take those wrongs and send them away and we look at that person, we say, that's not you. 
You're a created being by God. He loves you and he made you wonderfully. I'm going to, I'm just going to forgive that wrong. I'm going to send it away. And I'm just going to love you. Wow. That's the kingdom of God. Forgiveness. Sending away the bad. Sending away the bad. And then finally in verse 13 it says, And lead us not into temptation. Don't let us be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So we're asking God to keep wrongs far away from us. This is so good. I want to put it this way. Look at this. First, we say to God, please send my wrongs away. Send my wrongs away. I'm sorry, Father. I don't want those wrongs. I don't want to tell lies. I don't want to disobey my mom or my dad. Send those wrongs away, Father. Does that sound familiar? And then we say, okay, help me send other people's wrongs away. I'm going to send other people's wrongs away, Father God. If someone hurts me, I'm not going to hold on to it and be mad at them. I'm going to say, that sin, I'm sending you away. I'm sending, I'm forgetting about you. I'm going to do the right thing and love this person. They're hurting and, and so I'm going to love them. And the last thing God is saying, this is we can say, keep wrongs away from me. Keep wrongs away from me. Don't let them even come close to me, Father. Don't let the temptations come close to me. Keep evil away. That's what we're asking. So here we are in the kingdom of God and Jesus is our wonderful king and we now are children of God, children of the light and we keep ourselves clean and full of light by taking everything that might be wrong and giving it to God and saying, please send this away. I don't want it to be a part of me. And when other people do wrong things to me, Lord, I'm just going to send it away. I'm not going to hold on to that wrong and get angry with them. Because if I hold on to that wrong, suddenly I have anger in me. And that, that's not feeling very good and it's not right. It's not a part of your kingdom. It's wrong. To be mad at somebody is wrong. And so we want to be kingdom people who push back the darkness. We're getting rid of the darkness. Like, if this was the darkness, we are moving it out of the way. And how do we do that? By loving people, by forgiving them, by not keeping a record of their wrongs against us, and by asking God to clean us out, forgive and send away our wrongs. Wrong out. Right in. It really starts the other way, doesn't it? It's more like right in, wrong out. And that's the way God's kingdom will spread. Don't you think people will think, hey, how come that person decided not to get angry with me when I was mean to them? Hmm, how can they love me like that? That's really interesting. I want to know what they know. And the kingdom of light and love spreads. Oh, man. This was God's plan all along. We can forgive others. We can forgive others. Now, how are you going to do that this week? How are you going to do it? Well, don't forget that you need to talk to your Heavenly Father in heaven. Ask for his kingdom to come and his will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Then take in your daily bread. Read your Bible. Just enough. Just talk to God about it. You just need to get a little bit of food into you each day. And then... Let's get that wrong stuff out by asking God to forgive us when we, when we have something wrong going on. Tell him we don't want any part of that. And forgive others when they wrong us. 
oh, this is going to be so good. And we can even ask, Lord, keep, keep that wrong away from me. Don't let me give in to the temptation to do the wrong thing. That's not for me. That's not for me. And God's kingdom will grow and it's going to last forever and ever and ever. Woo! It's a good thing. All right. This is the Lord's Prayer. We have wrapped it up. Next week, we're going to start a new thing in Sunday school where we're going to drop a Sunday school in a bag off at your doorstep, almost like Uber Eats. <laughs> but not, because there might not be a hot dish or meal in there. It's just going to be some Sunday school notes and some other surprises. All right, that starts next week. Can't wait to talk about that with you next Sunday. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.